Welcome. Welcome to a very private, uh, uh, personal show, uh, audience-free, uh, just a small group of us uh, to see a little close-up magic. So, uh, this, is, uh, this is good. So, uh, obviously, you're going to be involved in this in a, in a major way. I'm going to uh, have you uh, all help me out, clearly. Uh, and, um, yeah, so let's, let's uh, start off with a little bit of magic. I'll have you help me out first. What is your name? Hello. Nice to see you. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you a card, and I'm going to steal it from you. Which is not very nice, but at least I'm an honest magician. So your job is very simply to keep me from getting that card. I'll give you the card, I'll place it on the table, you can place your hands strongly on top of it, or whatever you want to do, just make sure there's no way I can take the card away from you. All right, I'm going to give you the Five of Spades. Five of Spades, this is your card. All you have to do is just make sure I cannot take it. Are you ready? Here we go, one, two, three, go. Nice, that's all there is to this. Now, I can't even see, no, keep it on the table, but uh, yeah. Okay, good, uh, I can't, uh, that's, that's gonna be a little tougher than I expect, so look over there. No, don't do that. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to give myself a card, and I'm going to give myself... No, oh, that should have been your card. All right, well, I have the Queen of Hearts. I'll take the Queen, and I'll, I'll place it right on top of your card, like this. Now, can you feel that? It has nothing to do with the trick, but it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's done. I have your card in my hand, and you have my Queen under your fingers, and now... I'll switch them back. Okay, it's a guess. Uh, what was your card? It was the five. five of spades. Yes, it was. Five of spades. Take a look. Turn your card over now. It is now a queen of hearts. You may applaud if you like. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and, and, and select any card you prefer, anyone at all. Can we take it out? Yes, take any card. Share the card. I'll turn away. Everyone saw it? We're good. All right, we're going to take that card, we'll throw it into the middle of the deck, slap the card shut, and it, it's lost in the pack. I have no idea where it is, but you did touch the card, and it is a biological fact that your fingerprints are on this card. It's true, right? The U.S. Playing Card Company goes to extreme lengths to make sure things like fingerprints do not show up easily, but I will tell you, it's right by the angel. One of the cards will, will blush, if you will. It'll turn a little bit pink right here, uh, it's right where you touched it. It should be coming up right about, right about there. <laughs> yes. They were all blue a second ago, right? Yeah, we are. They were. So if this red card just happens to be what the uh, six of hearts, that would be nice. That would be great. <laughs> that would be nice. All right. Let's, we'll, I'll do that again. Let's uh, we'll get rid of that. Uh, tell me to stop on any card you like. Just say stop. Stop. Right there. Nice. Go ahead and take the card out of the middle of the deck. Share it with everyone, I'll turn away. Okay, nice. We'll take the card, we'll drop it in, back into the pack. Perfect. Done. One of the cards will turn to red, right before your eyes. You know what to expect. One of the cards will be brighter than the rest. One of the cards it changes right about, right about, That's okay. That is okay because I did say only one card would turn red. And it's under my card box. Oh, it was so close to yours. You had a seven of hearts. There it is. All right, well, let's do this. I'm going to uh, just uh, play with just a couple of cards right now. Um, uh, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in time travel? No. No? Okay, see, I mean, if I ask everyone here, it would be about half, 50, 50%. Um, if I ask, well, it, it, the bigger the theater, it doesn't even matter. It always comes down to about half do, half don't. I will tell you that Albert Einstein said it was possible. Now, that's an interesting thought. Uh, because arguably one of the most intelligent persons uh, this planet ever had actually said it was mathematically possible. He also wrote, uh, one day in its simplicity would we discover the miracle of time travel. It doesn't get any simpler than two cards. Uh, today we're going to represent a time machine. Whether it's real or not, uh, you can decide later, but uh, these two cards will represent a time machine. Your choice, uh, ten of hearts, king of clubs, which would you like to use? 
Ten of Hearts it is. Take the card, bend it in half, create a nice strong crease in the card, fold it all the way over. Nice, just like that. And I'll, I'll pull this one opposite yours. Just like so. Perfect. Now, this card, right here, this represents our time machine, the, uh, the Ten of Hearts. If I take your card and I place it in the center of mine, like that, see it right there, it's right inside, twitch it, bend it, even slide it across, just like so, and then reverse the two cards, we're done. A moment ago, these cards were in the past. In the past, they were facing in, and in the present, they're facing out. If this card is an actual time machine, we should be able to activate it and send the other card back in time. <laughs> Not a lot of room to bounce around in there. It really is just one card. In fact, I will tell you, in the past, that card was a king of clubs. In the present, it was also a king of clubs. I'm going to let you tug on your past. Hold on to that. See, it can't go anywhere because I'm holding on to the present. Yeah, you can let go. It, re <laughs> it really is the same card. It cannot move. In fact, I will tell you, this is where my physics professor would be proud. You see, if we isolate the capsule in the center of time, gravity, and space, we should be able to safely dismantle the vehicle so I could free up the capsule from inside and prove to you once and for all it really was the same card somehow stuck in time. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you may applaud if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look. You'll see. No, I promise you. Those tears absolutely match. It really was the same card. You're welcome to examine this. Go right ahead. All right. I've made a little prediction. Place that right here. My prediction for today. This is going to be fun. Uh, are you good with the shuffling cards? Uh, goodbye. Awesome. Okay, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I'm going to give you about half of my deck. Uh, we'll just cut the cards there, take those, and, and uh, sorry about that. And I want you to uh, just shuffle away until you're absolutely sure. There's no possible way for me to know the, uh, the order of the cards. I will tell you, even after a couple of shuffles, I don't know the order of my own cards, but keep shuffling yours so just to make sure. Yeah, no, that's good. So we'll shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> We're good. good. Perfect. Do you, do you believe me that I have no idea of the order? Yes. It is true. I don't. I really don't. But we're going to prove this beyond a shadow of a doubt. So uh, please pick up as many or as few as you like. There you are. Flip those upside down. And I look at that. Nicely done. I will shuffle mine into yours face up, just like that. I'll take yours and shuffle them into mine face up, just like that. I really am shuffling those together. That was fair. But let's do that one more time, and this time I won't peek. So pick up as many or as few as you like. Upside down. Mix these in with yours. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. It's like, wait a minute, face up, face down. That's exactly right. <laughs> and then all 52 back together into what I think you'll agree is a mess. Not what you normally do when playing a game of cards, but it is exactly what we needed to do to get to this point over here. I knew we'd be shuffling cards together today. I knew you'd be coming to this show. I knew you'd be cutting exactly where you cut, and I predicted it right here because I wrote down that you and I together would place exactly 21 cards face down on the table between us. 21 cards. Even though there's no way I should have known how deep you'd cut the cards or how many times you'd cut the cards, You'll see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty one. Cards. <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> well, we know there are 21 cards, and it, but some people okay, would be saying, okay, there's got to be some kind of math trick to this. But that's why I wanted you to shuffle the cards, because I also predicted of those 21 that 10 of them would be red. 
<laughs> Take a look. You'll see of the remaining cards, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten red cards. <laughs> Thank you. It gets better. All right. We know the rest are black. I went out on a limb. Wouldn't it be nice if exactly all of them were clubs? Take one more look. You'll see every card remaining. Every single card is, in fact, a club. Every single one. Oh, yeah, well, except for that ace of spades. <laughs> there. And that is your cue. That is very good. I don't understand it myself. I didn't used to leave that All right, well, that's, isn't that fun? All right, well, let me do this for you. Uh, I'm going to put that away. I'll put my production away here. And uh, what I want to do... Um, yeah, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to switch things up because uh, I think you're really going to enjoy this. I'm, I'm going to have you help me out with this. You're going to be wonderful with this. Um, what I'm going to do, in fact, I'm going to make another prediction. I'll make this right now uh, as we're uh, working this out. Uh, and if I were you, yes, I, I think I have this. So I'm going to take all of these cards, I'll, I'll flip them face up, and I'm going to cut through the cards several times. So I'm going to basically try to work through exactly where you would be picking a card. You'll see where we're going. So I'll cut the cards. There's one, and two, and three. Yes, yeah, something like that. And uh, running out of cards, I'll just maybe one or two more. You know what? Actually, I don't need the rest. The remaining cards I'll just place below the pack. I think I'm done. I'm going to take my prediction cards and I'll place them on the table. They'll never leave your side. Though. There they are right there. And uh, again, while the cards face up, I will ripple through the pack. Tell me to stop anywhere you like. Uh, and whatever the next card is, it will be the card we use. So here we go. Anywhere you like. All right. Right there. Nice. You have stopped on a seven of clubs. Take a look at the pack. It is a real deck of cards. Oh, there's a seven of hearts. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Oh, there's a seven of diamonds, too. Okay, well, I'm going to close that back up. If my prediction would have been perfect, I would have found the seven of hearts, diamonds, and spades. I saw the, the red ones go by, so I didn't get those. Uh, but that is okay, uh, because I did find one, two, three, four, seven of clubs. <laughs> okay. Caught you by surprise there. I, I cheated. I cheated. I know I did. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Uh, naturally, I had to borrow a couple of sevens from other decks. Uh, the first one, now this is fun. I, I actually was able to sneak this by, even though it was black. Uh, you were fo so focused on the blue cards, or on the values of the cards, that I was able to sneak a black card. I ran out of blue cards. So I borrowed a, a black card, but you didn't see it because you were looking at the values, that little misdirection there. Um, the next seven of clubs, this one, this is kind of interesting uh, because actually, I thought you would have caught this. Um, it, it was white. <laughs> so, but you, you didn't catch that either, so I was able to get that in the deck. That's nice. Um, this seven of clubs, this one right here, this is my favorite one. If I just rub the back of my hand like that, it turns bright yellow, just like that. Isn't that nice? Uh, leaving, of course, uh, this blue seven of clubs, but honestly, it didn't even come from this deck, uh, because this deck was red. <laughs> 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 All right, well, thank you for that. Yeah. So, yes. Wow. So, uh, there you are. <laughs> it's 15 years of my life right there. All right, <laughs> so let me, let me put that away. Okay, I'm going to uh, change things up uh, dramatically now. Um, I'm going to have you pop out again. Okay. You don't mind, do you? No. Wonderful. Uh, I, you'll be perfect for this, too. I, I have, uh, let me see if I can find it here. There we are, yes. Uh, so I have a... Uh, we're going to get away from the cards just long enough so I can introduce this. Uh, this is a, a little uh, piece of magic uh, using nothing more than some uh, velvet ribbon and three wooden beads. So I'm going to hand you these. Go ahead and uh, examine those. Make sure there's nothing more than, than a couple of beads. And I want you to thread one at a time onto both ropes, if you will. So uh, pick any one you like and then thread it onto both ropes uh, all the way up to my fingertips. And this is harder than it looks, which, which is why I'm letting you do it. Uh, so <laughs> oh, 
you're doing great. You're doing great. And you can use the table for the other two beads. You don't have to hold all three. But see, you're, not only are you you're doing well, but you're, you're going for the advanced move. Look yeah. at that. Look at that. Okay. So right across there, just toss them in. And look at that. <laughs> nice. And then, uh, it just won't fall. There you go. All the way up to my fingertips. Just like that, perfect. Okay. All right, that's that's all we need. Okay, now so this um, we're going to put the other beads on there, but uh, I'll give you a new target. We'll put the next bead down here. So uh, pick up either the brown one or the red, your choice. It would. Yes, it would. Thank you so much. Nice. And the uh, the third and final bead will move over to here, uh, right about to there. I may use your left hand anyway. Uh, you'll see why uh, right now as I do this. Uh, in fact, do me a favor, extend your left hand. Uh, this will be good. I, the reason I want to use your left hand is because it's toward the center of the table. If you could flip that over for me, and uh, we'll just place all three beads into the palm of your hand. Of course, you, you place them on the rope. You know they're on there. I'm going to place these in. Go ahead and extend your arm toward me. Thank you so much. I'll place that into the palm of your hand. Uh, cup your hand closed. Turn your palm over. And you know those beads are on there, right? Absolutely. We're going to hold this right here, uh, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to pick up the the uh, ropes uh, protruding out of your thumb. So we have the in my left hand we'll call this rope number one. In my right hand rope number two. Would you like to use one or two? One. one. I'll drop the other over here. Touching my thumb now is number one. Touching my thumb here number two. Do you want to use one or two? One again. I'll drop the other. Very nice. The ropes you selected, I'm going to tie a very real, very standard overhand knot right up the palm of your hand. Three beads on two ropes, plus a knot that could even cut the blood circulation on, off if I tug. But I'm not a mean person, so I'm going to just take the rope away <laughs> as if we never began. You may open your hand, show them the beads are still there, give them a round of applause. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me even give you a, a little piece of bonus magic uh, that I think you'll enjoy. Yeah, let's do this. So, uh, I, again, uh, oh, uh, this deck needs to shuffle. A fresh deck of cards. We'll give that a good shuffle there, just like so. All right, perfect. Uh, please select any card you like. There you are. Share the card with everyone. I will turn away. <laughs> We're good. Did you see the card? Yes. All right, nice. We'll take that card, we'll throw it into the middle of the deck, uh, and we'll uh, just cut through the cards. We'll Shuffle through the cards. We'll even give the cards a, a nice true shuffle here. We'll mix, 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 <laughs> mix, 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 mix. There. Your card is lost in the pack. I have no idea where it is. Be before I even continue, though, we're going to do one more kind of shuffle. And this is called a slop shuffle. And you may not have seen this before. It makes a complete mess out of the cards. Uh, if you see your actual card go by, don't say anything. Uh, but just know that this uh, deck is up, down, back and forth, uh, even discombobulated, if you will. And uh, I probably can even uh, demonstrate this a little bit better. Let me see. Uh, oh, perfect. There you go. That's exactly what I want to show you. So about half the deck is face up, half is face down. Um, in fact, uh, let me show you that uh, there's some cards face up, uh, face down, and even back to back. All right, perfect. What I want you to do is just cast a little shadow over the cards. Just reach across. Uh, th oh, that was good. That was fast. Did you see that, though? It changed. It did. It, it looks like it's not as tall of a stack now. It, it only takes a second. I think, I think it's happened. Every single card in the pack went back to the beginning. Every single card back went back to exactly where it was before we began, except for that five of diamonds. <laughs> Well, it was my pleasure entertaining you. Thank you so much for coming out and uh, being a part of this. Uh, wonderful to see you guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> Bye.